Hello. Welcome back to the TV room. I have acquired two new uh, ends for this iron. And with great care, because it can still be hot, I'm going to stick one of them in just a little. And then I'll use the pliers. It's funny. I don't know. Did I put the little Willer thing back in here? I wonder if it's like a universal size that fits soldering iron things. I doubt it somehow. It looks smaller. Oh, maybe not. Oh no, it's turning it. I could just do it with my fingers. But I think that still could be getting some heat. Well, that kind of fits. Yeah, is it getting warm? Oh, yeah. Okay, don't do that. I'm going to use the pliers. They seem to have a better go about this. All right, it's nice and snug now. All right, and if I look, definitely the tip on this, the one that I've just put in, is much more oh, uniform and perfect. It is. Perhaps at some point I'll do a little close-up of this. All right, Alexa, set an alarm for five minutes from now. All right. So, one RAM chip, one socket. Shouldn't be too much trouble. And of course, after I do this, it's very likely that the thing is going to flash again for another different ram chip i'm just examining the old thing and you know what maybe it's clogged up definitely the end is looking worn and i think in order to get good suction it has to really especially on this kind of a last gasp thing where that stuff goes all the way through it really needs to have a good seal it does anyway i am hopeful that this works out and uh, of course with every man chip i believe there are probably two two such pins that will be difficult and challenging. All right, where is the solder? If I touch that on here, is it going to melt? I don't know. I can't see. It's smoking. But I don't think it's quite ready yet. I don't think so. I don't think so. Alexa, how much time is left in the alarm? Oh, one minute. Hmm. Okay. Alexa, cancel the alarm. All right. Let's see if I can get a nice seal on here and get this cleared out. And the answer is so far, no. No, I cannot.
No, and really the one at the the other end is not looking so great either. I have a way of dropping solder. I'm also slipping at the critical moment because now there's no pin to hold them in place. But I know this. No, that's nothing. Sometimes you can just hear it just ain't right. Don't believe this. It's just the one. So we should have the heat. Slipping. The worst possible moment. But it's not doing it. It's just not getting it. Did that do it? Nope. And boy, is it ever on a massive ground. Like it's just sucking the heat out. This is incredibly frustrating. You know what I might do? Yeah, I'm going to heat it up on here. And I'm going to try to blow it through the other side. Yeah, I could just keep the iron in place. Boy, I didn't realize how helpful those pins were. Until they're not there. Maybe I just need a little drill. Did that do it? No, it really didn't. All right, we're in connection. And a blow. Man, man. Oh, I think I've dropped the solder again. I've never had such trouble with one lonely chip. Never. It's when I can almost see there's a hole, but there is. Maybe that's why the, it's not blowing out because there is a little wee bit of a hole. I need to do that with the other hand. My grandmother said, you're standing in your own light. All right, we now have a ball of solder. 
Alright. I'm going to see about getting on there until it melts, blowing it through. Still no go. Oh, there's a whole bunch in the back now. See right through. Oh, man. One ram chip. One ram chip. And now the socket goes in so nicely. So what am I gonna do? I'm going to take a pin or two on here. And bend them over to hold the socket in place. I think I am. I think I did. I think I might. Which one did I bend? I don't feel like they're coming through nicely. Okay, that one is bent. Oh, I think I've now bent two on one side. I'm going to take this little wee screwdriver. I'll to apply a teeny bit of pressure. A teeny bit more pressure. Okay. We're in. All right, I've unplugged the D soldering iron, and it can sit there nicely on the circuit board, not the circuit board, the circuit board cover for the big 20. That does not need to be here. Uh -huh. Okay. All right, so now, Take soldering iron. Alexa, set an alarm for five minutes from now. Okay, now I'm going to take these glasses that are incredibly strong and I'm going to inspect. And all the pins are coming through. And everything should be just fine. Oh, man. Now, of course, do I have another RAM chip? Well, no. I really don't. So I thought, gee, yeah, I can get this all finished. I can get this all done. I can have the answer. But now, I've got to find a RAM chip. So I'm going to have to start looking through. I know I have other 64s that have RAM chips. That have been worked on. Thus in a socket. I know it. But of course it's like anything. Like it re recently Rudy of Rudy's Retrento said, Hey, can you find me a um a Centronics parallel printer? I thought yeah, sure I got bunches of them around. Could I find one? No, I can only find them when I don't want them. So this is an MT4264-20. It is, and it is bad, so they say. 
Well, anyway, I'm going to solder this socket in. I am. Perhaps I'll take. My, oh dear God! I'll take my little green brush. Very gently, give a little rub around here. There could be a little wee bit of excess solder from the last mess of an operation. Yeah, and there is. Just a little wee bit of all that diddling around. Alexa, how much time is left in the alarm? Oh, two minutes. That might be a little more. All right, well, I have solder here. And see, these things have what's called a duty cycle. I don't know what it is. It's going to melt. Here it is. Ooh, we got smoke. Now this is where I should. I gotta have. A, I've got to get a sponge thing. I have to get a sponge thing. Let's see. This is flowing nicely. I didn't start at a corner. I did not. Because those can be the testy ones. There's only 16. It's not like it's a 40 pin chip or anything. All right. Let's see here. That could use a little tidying up. All right. The solder is getting short. Which means soon I might start to feel the heat. Now oh, it went, but it doesn't look quite right. It doesn't look like it flowed nicely. And here is one of the horrible ones on the end. All right, I'm just going to go down, touch each one, one more time. All right. I will inspect. Alexa, cancel all alarms. one looks like it could use 
just to tweak more solder. Third one on the, the right side. Just a tweak. Okay. One last look see. Hmm. It still looks like I see. A little wee crack in there. Now, I'm sure it's probably fine. It's making a fine connection. It would be fine. All right. All right. Well, I suppose, hopefully, last look. <sighs> One on the other side looks a little teeny bit squirrely. Heat it up. I'm shipping. Okay. Unplugging the iron. Okay. Now, I'm going to let everything cool off. And I'm going to look. There's a socket. I know you can't see this. There's a socket. Um. I'm going, looks nice and even, I'm going now to look to see if I can find a 64 with a socket, a socketed RAM chip that I can steal out and test this, a working 64. Ay, 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 ay. Yes, but just so that no clutter gets here, I'll take this little wee piece of cellophane and I'll put it in my pocket and take it away. Yes, I will. All right, so another, another simple operation here. Oh, I do need to get my little bags. Ugh. And find a ram chip. Anyway, thanks for coming to the TV room. I'll see you again soon. Keep your stick on the ice. Oh, go, Leafs, go. Have a lovely, lovely day. Bye for now.